Mr. Sog, Strongman Tom, Chef. Chef. <laughs> I see some legs. Clearly, clearly all the hotels are shut down, so we have to make our own challenges and we have to do our own things. Not necessarily a bad thing. As you can see in Master Chef, they look at that amazing stuff. That is beautiful cooking there. <laughs> I think, uh, have you shown yourself how you've covered yourself up? <laughs> After a gym session, it is cold outside here, but the heat from the meat. We will see you at the dining table now. You can see Master Chef being there. I'm very hungry. Give me the pepper. Give me the french fries. What's up guys, we are doing a food challenge, as you can see we have three monsters in front of us and some fries and on that note I'm going to take off my jacket. <laughs> this is now getting serious. <laughs> we are back. Please, people, sanitize yourselves. Or you choose your weapon. Fanta or Coke? Fanta. Me too. Fanta. I think I'm the only person in the world who mixes Coke or soda with water. Sorry guys, this is disgusting. It is too sweet. Let us dig in. What a bar. Mm. 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 The cheese just burst in your mouth. Mm. So clearly, the whole world is shutting down. Competitions, games, everything, everyone's going through a rough time. Understandable. It's tough to stay at home, but uh, God is there. We'll get through this. When food is there, you're okay. Just need to be strong, stay strong. Actually, this is a time for all those people who used to say we are not getting time to do this or that. Actually, this is a very good time for people to now concentrate on themselves. Like the people who said they've never read a book, like me. You can do that now. You have enough time for yourself. And then, and 
So I'm just busy <laughs> eating here. So yeah. Just do something to make you happy. Like we are. Like we are. So, if this is a burger with meat, mostly meat and cheese. Good burger. If there's enough liquid, you'll finish that thing. But I mean, that's what makes it a challenge. Mm. If it was easy, everyone would be going and they'd be bankrupt by now. So. Apparently, what they told us, the majority of people who have finished it, and by, by majority I mean like maybe like less than 10 people, they're all way smaller than us, they said. I don't know how that works, like seriously. Some people can be like thin, but can be like massive eaters. I don't know. I've never understood that concept. Where does the food go? Really, not in the body, is it? It's got the food as well. Mm. Not bad. What makes this a challenge is the amount of cheese in this burger. This has a easily a good more than two kgs, less than three kgs meat. Because these are double patties. So a patty normally is supposed to be 200, 200 grams, eh? 200 to 300 grams. Also, uh, it's basically just to bring some fun, some pop, some positivity, and like we said. I mean, maybe a little more than what we normally eat, but this is like what we normally eat on a normal day. Yeah. Why don't you should do one day of uh, what we eat in a day? Mm. That'll be interesting. We do eat five to six times a day. So we carry food at our workplace. I think almost two meals at our workplace. We have our boxes. People see us roaming around in boxes. Go when it's time, open the box, eat, get done. So, yeah. I mean, you have to be like that. Sometimes you don't want to eat, but you have to. People think if they're cutting and there's bulking, but people think, oh, bulking just is you have to eat everything. The time you just don't want to eat, your body refuses, but you still have to stuff food down your throat. Check out a uh, fillet food challenges. There's a guy called Beard Meets Food. He's a definition of someone who is not fat or not big, but the guy can eat. I don't know where the food goes. Oh, he's a very average guy, short average guy. Not big, not tiny, just the average guy. He just eats and eats like tons, just tons and tons of it's now getting to a plateau. It's like anything, by the way. Your weight gets to a plateau, your training gets to a plateau. It's just life. 
What you have to do is break it. Move ahead. Minute for piece break. Piece break. I don't put chips in my <laughs> Sorry, it switched off or not? There was a technical failure. No, the food is Pajin, your chips. <laughs> Uh, uh, damn it. So guys, I'm going to bring this white uh, tissue. That's going to signify if we're going to give up or finish our meal. Just give me one. So if we feel that we can't finish our remaining bites, then you throw in the white towel. Take into account, we had three burgers, each with massive two patties in between cheese, some veggies, two buns on each burger, and we had massive fries because as you said guys remember this is not a plate it's a tray it's a serving it's when guests come that's what you serve them in like samosas and stuff fries oh god one eternity later <laughs> Good job! Good job! Guys, raw piece of meat, I'm gonna touch that because my stomach is sensitive here. <coughs> so <laughs> so guys, hope you enjoyed our food challenge. Let us know if there's something else that you think we should try and we will do it. And like we said guys, um, this is just something fun. There's a lot of negativity and a lot of serious stuff going on. so. It's just to sort of like just like lighten up the mood. Just like everyone else, we've got our stress, stress as well. Mm. And clearly, the only two things which cheer us up is gym and food. So we've done gym, we've done food. We're happy. We can go sleep now. So, of course, after walking around a bit, if we just sleep immediately, you're going to find you're going to wake up in a bed of puke. Oh, Actually, it's like burgers all around. Guys, till next time, always remember, stay in your homes. Keep clean. Stay strong. Keep smashing the home workouts. And we shall uh, overcome this very soon. Be safe. Be strong. <laughs>